There's a connection between justified sinning and justified typesetting. James Hogg didn't just write a novel, he composed a book, a literary work of art. And just like the King James Bible, the memoir ends with a warning about altering its words and form. Yet many have ignored this warning and created altered editions of the book. So now the curse is as factive as it is fictive. And there are secrets of this curse hidden in the original form. It's not just an interpretation, it's an empirical fact. For example, like 17 in Revelation 17, in the 1824 original, 17 is also significant. The word 17 occurs only once throughout the entire book, and it occurs precisely on page 17, at the end of line 16, in the phrase nearly 17. It's hardly a coincidence and it points to the identity and likeness of the characters, including the unnamed editor and the unnamed author. Yet, paradoxically, every scholarly edition obliterates these clues. So these editions are cursed because they've altered the form and significance of the original book. And it proves how publishers have also become ensnared in Hogg's devilish literary hoax. But admittedly, I didn't plan to create a new edition. I was studying the composition of the original book, analyzing and digitally reproducing every word, on every line, on every page, exactly like the original book. And the evidence of Hogg's ingenious composition was extraordinary and unexpected. And then I realized this is the only edition that reproduces the form of the 1824 original, and it's the only edition that unlocks the significance between words and numbers, and it's the only edition with an afterword that reveals the secrets of the curse.